Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Goal Side. As for the Ballon d'Or criteria, I'm not really sure how it works. Sometimes it's a World Cup year, sometimes it isn't. Let them vote. For me, there is no doubt as to who is the best year after year individual. David Vija. For people who have been watching football for like 10 years or more, it's pretty easy to define the Ballon d'Or for them. It's an annual ceremony that decides whether this year Lionel Messi was the best player or Cristiano Ronaldo. This definition of the Ballon d'Or fits perfectly in today's football. If we take a look at the world of football's last decade, it's just those two. December 2nd, 2007 was a very important date in the world of football. That's the day when Ricardo Caca won the Ballon d'Or playing in Italy for AC Milan, and that was it. The Brazilian superstar was the last footballer to win the Ballon d'Or when the definition of the award was completely different. The Ballon d'Or became the prized possession of the two greatest players of all time, and the Ballon d'Or was given to decide the result of the rivalry between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo, and no other player can even touch it. Messi-Ronaldo rivalry has been going on for uh, about 12 years now. In this period, Messi has won six of them, and Cristiano Ronaldo has won five. Nobody even remembers the name of any other player who has won or is even nominated to win them. When it comes to the most prestigious award of all time, everybody knows that it is either Messi or Ronaldo. I have never been concerned about winning the Ballon d'Or or being the best player in the world. The best player is already here, and that's Messi, and now I can see him from close up and help him, Neymar Jr. Even though whenever we hear the Ballon d'Or and Messi and Ronaldo come to mind, there is an actual definition of the award that was lost between the greatest football rivalry, the untold truth. Ballon d'Or is actually a French word that can be translated to golden ball in English. It's the most prestigious award given year after year to the player who has performed the best throughout the entire season. Most people think that the ceremony is actually organized by FIFA, but that's not entirely accurate. The ceremony was actually initiated by France back in the year 1956. Agreements were done with FIFA by France for a collaboration, and the award was called the FIFA Ballon d'Or for some time until the arrangements were called off. FIFA has its own award called the FIFA Best Player of the Year, hence FIFA has nothing to do with the Ballon d'Or. In the year 1956, Stanley Matthew of Blackpool was the first to win the award. I know it's hard to believe that the nominations for the award are shortlisted every year when the winners are obvious, but they are. In order to decide the winner of Ballon d'Or every year, the authorities have given out a procedure. There is an international team of journalists present, as well as captains and football coaches of national teams present, under a certain jurisdiction which assess each and every player who's in a position to be nominated for the Golden Ball. The team of journalists assess the player on his on-field performance, number of trophies his team is considering to win, and his role in it, as well as his behavior and other attributes off the pitch. So if you're a troublemaker, you might never even be considered. I don't need no Ballon d'Or to know I'm the best. It matters more to some other players. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. The journalists are given the duty to shortlist 23 players throughout the entire season, and at the end, the top three players are selected and nominated for the award. Now, to tell the truth, this system of nominations has faults of its own. The team of journalists belong to different nations of the world, and their assessment of the player is even published by the authorities, and many times these officials have been caught in the act of favoring the player they like. Let me give an example here. The Ballon d'Or Ceremony 2018. Cristiano Ronaldo had the season of his life, but somehow the award was given to Luka Modric? The authorities should really work on a system because the same criterion has been followed for years, and with the progress in the world, the system should progress as well. The Ballon d'Or 2019 was subjected to controversies of its own. Virgil van Dijk displayed phenomenal performances. It was his doing that Liverpool are now European champions, but Messi won the award with an edge in points. Everybody knows it was the season of van Dijk, and he deserved it when Liverpool knocked Barcelona out of the UCL. But the deciding journalists did some thinking of their own, giving Messi his sixth award. In my opinion, I would have liked some change. If you want to give the Ballon d'Or to the best players of this generation, you can give it to Messi. But if you want to give it to the best player of the season, it was Van Dyke, Jurgen Klopp. 